guys and welcome back to my channel today for another pregnancy update. This will be for weeks 17 and 18 so if you're interested to see how me and baby girl are doing go ahead and keep watching. So first off, I'm so happy to be saying that I'm feeling so much better. I'm feeling so much more like myself. I really have not had hardly any nausea. Um, in my last pregnancy update, I was telling you guys about how I was like a little sad, a little down because I was still having nausea. But I am happy to report that my nausea is basically gone. So we'll get into that a little bit more as I go through the questions that I answer every week. Um, but first I just wanted to go over, I, I never really do this, like go over the little baby stats at week 18, well 17 and 18, um, but I'll just kind of go over where I'm at right now. I think the baby, oh, I'm gonna go over to my bump app because that's one I like to use, whoopsies, um, to like show how big the baby is and stuff. Um, okay, so baby Cherrick which is what we call our baby because my name is Chelsea, my husband's name is Eric, our couple name is Cherrick, so that's where we get that name. Um, so the baby is as big as an artichoke, which is crazy, like that's really big. <laughs> and also, I don't like comparing it to an artichoke because artichokes are like pokey. <laughs> but anyway, the baby is as big as an artichoke right now. At this point, the baby is yawning and hiccuping and twisting and rolling and punching and um, the baby is about 5.6 um, inches long um, and about 6.7 ounces. Um, and the baby can hear right now. So that's super cool. So the baby can hear what I am saying right now and hear, the baby can hear music and all sorts of neat things. Um, okay, so... I did have a baby shower in the past couple weeks. It was mainly just for family. Um, it was just for family because we had a bunch of family here um, from all over. Um, all of my cousins that I'm really close to and my sisters um, got together and they threw me a little baby shower and it was so fun um, just to be hanging out with them. And they did stock me up with some really good stuff. Let me show you a thing or two that they got me. So number one, they got me a bunch of diapers <laughs> and a bunch of wipes and I got a diaper pail. Let's start over here. Um, I got a lot of clothes, um, stuff that like um, people had used already, like some hand-me-downs, but, um, and then some new stuff, which was so nice. Um, I got a boppy. Where's that? Oh, it's over there. This room, by the way, this is our nursery and it is a mess right now. I meant to do the crib the past, you know, couple weeks. I was hoping in this update I would have the crib up, but we did make progress on that. We found a video of how to set up the crib, so that's progress. Hopefully by the next update, our crib is set up. Um, but yeah, so I got a boppy and I got, you know, one. Of, it's one of those like nursing pillows. Um, I also got a bottle warmer for my sister, which is so awesome because I've used this bottle warmer when I was babysitting my nephew and it was super convenient. So you just pop the bottle in there and then, um, it's just one minute per ounce. It warms up the bottle super quick. Woo! And then I got these little shoes. <laughs> Guys, I don't really have any, like I've showed you, maybe I'll do like a haul at some point, but I don't really have a lot of like newborn infant shoes because why do you need those? You don't need them, but they're just cute. So my cousin gave me these and they are so cute. Like, oh, I love them, obviously. And then I got this cute book, which a lot of you have probably seen this book. Um, it's called Wish and I haven't read it yet because I'm afraid to read it because I'm afraid I'll cry. I've heard it's like kind of about, kind of about infertility maybe. Like you really, really, really want this baby and the book talks all about that. Anyway, I will read it eventually, but I just don't want to read it like on camera or something. I'm going to cry. 
Um, and then I got this. I did actually register for this book. I um, saw it on Amazon when I went to my friend's baby shower and I got it for her and then I put it on my registry because it's so cute. Pride and Prejudice. There's also like Emma and Sense and Sensibility and Jane Eyre and like all sorts of classic books that you can get on Amazon. Um, so yeah, lots of fun baby things. I love getting baby things. Although we definitely don't need any more clothes. Like we really don't need clothes. We have so many clothes. Um, but I can't help but ooh and ah when people do give me clothes because they're just so cute. And those are the fun things to give, you know, baby showers. But, um, but yeah, we are just like getting so stocked up and I'm so grateful and blessed that we have so many people supporting us. It's been awesome. Okay. The next question is, um, total weight gain so far. And I actually don't know. I think at the doctor appointment, the doctor's appointment on Wednesday this past week, or when was that? Thursday? Wednesday, I think. Anyway, I think I was up 15 pounds, which I'm only 18 weeks and I'm up 15 pounds. That just seems like a lot, but whatever, going with the flow. My body wants to gain weight. It's going to gain weight. I know I'm eating healthy. I'm working out and I'm taking the best possible care of my body and this baby as I can. So my body's just going to do what it wants to do. Um, maternity clothes. Yes, I'm in maternity clothes, mostly maternity clothes because I like to be comfortable. I don't want to feel like restricted in any way. So I'm in maternity clothes. I'm in maternity dress right now. You guys will be able to see a little bit better when I do my bum shot. Um, stretch marks. Do you have stretch marks? That's the next question. Um, yes, you guys, I have gotten some stretch marks, but only on my chest and my sister said she got the same kind and, um, they went away. So I'm hoping that they'll go away <laughs> after baby comes, but gosh, I talked about this before. My chest is just out of control. It is ginormous. I've like quadrupled in size. And so I'm not surprised that I have stretch marks there. Um, but I am like oiling myself down at night with coconut oil. That's all I use. And then I use just like some regular lotion in the mornings and stuff. But after, before I go to bed, um, or after like a night shower, I don't always shower at night, but when I do, I for sure put coconut oil on. And then most nights before I go to bed, I make sure to just lather up in coconut oil because it's just such a good moisturizer. It's natural. Um, and yeah, I feel like my body just really likes it. Okay, next um, question is, how are you sleeping? Um, last time I talked about how I wasn't sleeping as well and I was waking up with headaches, but guys, I am sleeping so good, so good that I'm snoring like crazy <laughs> and Eric has even caught it on film, but oh well, I'm sleeping good and I don't care if I snore. Uh, what I did was I just switched out my, the pillow that I had my head on, like the pillow I was sleeping on um, was like a feather pillow and I switched it out for like a memory foam pillow that it's the same kind Eric uses and I am sleeping so good on that and I don't wake up with headaches. I haven't woken up with a headache in a week since I, since I switched from the feather, feather pillow to the memory foam pillow. So that's been really nice and then I just sleep with a body pillow like in between my legs. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get the pregnancy pillow that everyone talks about. Um, but we'll see if my sleep continues to be really good, then I won't, I won't get it. But, um, if I struggle in the next couple of weeks, I'll probably get it. Um, the next question is what was the best moment of the past couple weeks? Um, just being with family the past couple weeks was so fun. We had cousins staying with us. Um, lots, just lots of family, um, things, sorry, my hair is bugging me. Um, just lots of family things and it was just fun because I don't get to see them all the time. My cousins were super close. Like I've said, we're like sisters and they live all over the country, like from Oregon to Texas to New York, like they live all over. And so it was just so, so nice to be with all of them and fun to um, have a little baby shower time together. Um, at the baby shower, they gave me a bunch of baby names, um, which some of them I really liked. But, um, we still haven't quite solidified a baby name yet. We have a few we like, um, we have one that we're kind of settling on right now, but we're not going to say until 
she's born because we don't know. It might change. So we'll see. Okay, next question is, are you missing anything? And yes, if you watched my most recent vlog, I talked about how I'm craving everything that I feel like you can, you're not supposed to eat during pregnancy. <laughs> like lately, I really want soft cheese, like a brie cheese. <laughs> I don't even eat brie that much, but like brie with like jam and crackers sounds so good. And I'm not supposed to have that. Like that's one thing that doctors really do warn against. Some things are like, eh, but cheeses I feel like is one thing that most doctors have really warned against. I don't know. So I just feel like if I can't, if I can't have it, that's what I want. And that's what I'm missing. <laughs> so, um, movement. Yes. I am feeling movement for sure. Um, I finally, I felt the first like little kick and it wasn't like what I expected it to be. It was just like this tiny little, like, like flick. It didn't feel like a kick. Um, but it was definitely like a very precise movement. So, and I feel her mostly on my left side, really low. Um, and yeah, she is moving. She's definitely moving around in there, but I only usually feel her at night or when I'm like really relaxed and laying down. And the next question on my list is, what are your food cravings? And right now I've just basically been craving my normal diet, pre-pregnancy, healthy, good things, which is awesome. Um, but... One thing I am craving a lot are peppermint milkshakes from Chick-fil-A still, which I think I mentioned that in my last update. And then basically anything peppermint sounds really good. And then um, I've also been craving donuts with sprinkles, like not just any like chocolate donut or like just any kind of donut. It has to have sprinkles and I haven't even gotten one yet. Have I? I don't think I've even gotten one and I've been craving donuts like bad donuts with sprinkles. I need to get one. Anyway, um, the next thing is anything making you queasy or sick. Nope. I'm so happy to say that I have not had nausea basically since my last update. And it was weird because like a couple days had gone by and I was just like, oh, I'm I'm not nauseous. I haven't been nauseous for the past couple days. And it's been so amazing. <laughs> like, I can't even tell you. So about like, uh, what, let's see, like 16 and a half weeks, 16 weeks or so, I don't know, um, was when my nausea was like gone. So um, if I don't eat for like two to three hours, then sometimes I feel a little bit of nausea come on, but it's more just like a low blood sugar, like need to eat type nausea. It's not like the constant nauseous feeling I was dealing with um, in the earlier weeks of pregnancy. So I am very, very happy because of that. And I, you guys can probably tell just from this update that I'm doing much better than I was in the last update. Okay, but I do have some symptoms. So the nausea may have gone away, but that has been replaced with some new symptoms. And the main one that I have felt the past couple weeks is heartburn. And oh my gosh, like I've never had heartburn in my life and it's super uncomfortable and it makes me afraid to eat like anything because it feels like it doesn't matter what I eat, I'm gonna get it. And then sometimes I feel like I need to eat more to make it go away, but that makes it worse sometimes. I don't know. So I did talk to my doctor about that and he said, you know, I'm fine to take Tums and you know, uh, he mentioned a bunch of different heartburn, like over the counter things. Um, but, um, so far I've just taken one, um, I've just had one day where I've had to take something cause it was like, I was going to bed and I was so uncomfortable. Um, but then that was two nights ago and I haven't felt any heartburn since then. So maybe it like helps and it carries on for a few days that, like to decrease heartburn. I don't know, but, um, that has definitely been a new symptom. I've also been so achy and sore in my legs and my feet. And I think I may have mentioned this in my last update, but my feet are just tired. I, I can't do too much, like in a period of time, like too much cleaning or standing or um, anything because I just feel achy and tired. And I think it's mainly because I'm super swollen and I haven't been drinking as much water as I used to. So I definitely need to drink more water. I'm just not as thirsty as I was in the first trimester. Um, so I think if I drink more water, that will help. But 
I need to like elevate my legs and take breaks. Um, but yeah, I am definitely more achy and tired and just starting to get swollen already, which I didn't think would happen so early on. Um, I thought that didn't happen until later, like in your, when you're 30 plus weeks. But, um, yeah, one of the questions is like, is your ring still fitting you? And I was like, yeah, up until now. And now like this ring is usually loose and it's getting tight. So my fingers, I can feel it. Like they're definitely swelling up a bit. So yeah, I'm kind of nervous about what I'm going to be dealing with in the later weeks of pregnancy. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely swollen. Um, okay. The next question is, am I happy or moody most of the time? And I'd say the past couple weeks, I'm definitely happy most of the time. Sometimes I'm a little moody at night. The next question is, what am I looking forward to in the next, um, couple weeks? And I am definitely looking forward to our 20 week ultrasound. Um, which I think will actually be done at 19 and a half weeks, I think. Um, and I'm so excited because they get to like check everything with the baby. We get to see our baby. I haven't seen a, our baby on ultrasound since like nine weeks. And so I'm really excited. Um, that will be so fun to see her, especially because by now she's going to look more like a baby in there and we'll be able to see like actual hands and arms and you know, her profile and stuff. So I'm super excited for that ultrasound. Okay, and now is the time for another belly shot. This is for 17 and 18 weeks. So this is what I look like at 18 weeks. And I'm in a maternity dress, so I'm not gonna pull it up and show you guys the bare belly this week, but this is it. So this is it from the front. And from this side, I don't know if the back you guys can see. Poking out, definitely. She definitely wants to be seen and noticed. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join this tribe. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.